my goodness. Hello, loyal fans. I was so like in awe of that amazing video by minor league's own Jason Tolliver. Sixes and sevens in the chat. That is how we applaud here at Comedy Sports Chicago. All of the sixes and sevens in the chat for that amazing hype video. I am ready to go. Oh my goodness. I am your announcer for the night, Heather Scholl. If you have found yourself here for the first time, welcome to Comedy Sports Chicago here on our virtual stage, the Comedy Sports Network. I want to know if you're here for the first time, so I'm going to get a poll going in the chat. Um, this chat is going to be so much action happening tonight. You're going to use it to give us suggestions, and we can also do polls to determine who gets points in this sporting event. Uh, who is new here? Question mark. Me. Nope. <laughs> Go ahead and vote. That poll is going to pop up right above the chat there. Um, for this one, you can vote once, but when we get to voting for points in this match, you can vote more times. That's right. You can vote twice, three times, hundreds of times with channel points. Um, you can see your number of channel points down there at the bottom where you type in the chat. Uh, those will appear in the poll and you can add hundreds of points to show all of the love for your favorite team tonight. I mentioned the chat is important. We are going to be getting suggestions from you all night long to make these scenes, songs, and games happen right here in our virtual stage. Uh, it is improv. You're probably like, comedy, sports, what's going on? What am I watching? It's not sports. It's not comedy about sports. It's comedy played as a sport. You're going to see two teams going head to head for your points uh, and a referee to keep it all on track. Uh, we had a tough ref tonight, so buckle up. Uh, the poll has ended and we have 92% returning loyal fans. And for the other 8% of you, guess what? You are a loyal fan now because you're here and we love you. Uh, so welcome. I have talked to you all about what the chat is, what the polls, polling things are, who I am. There's going to be two teams. There's going to be a referee. Um, there's also a foul because, again, comedy played as a sport. There are a couple of fouls. There's one that is so important I need to talk about it right now, and that is the brown bag foul. We do comedy that any age can watch and enjoy, so we don't need to step over the line of good taste and say anything lewd, crude, bed, bath, or beyond. And that goes for you too, loyal fans in the chat. If our players mess it up because they are making it up, the referee will call, will blow the whistle, call the brown bag foul, and that player will have to wear a brown paper bag over their head and they may lose some points. It's just embarrassing. If you say something in the chat that toes that line, well, you might, we, we will warn you. We're going to be monitoring that chat. We might, we might boot you from the show, or you're just going to be embarrassed, right? Like, we want your suggestions to be seen. So let's keep it cool in the chat, right? Okay. Anyway, all of the things that I needed to say are done. Here's what I'm really excited to say. It is officially the beginning of Comedy Sports Women's Weekend. That's right. Chicago is hosting... Comedy Sports Worldwide Women's Weekend. You're going to see for the rest of this weekend women from comedy sports all around the country and Manchester United Kingdom. We have added matches to Thursday and Sunday. And this is the beginning of it all with all women minor league tonight. We are featuring a special guest and a new minor league player debut. It is so much excitement. I don't think you understand the excitement going on. And guess what? There's also some sort of like wrestling event happening. I don't know, but I think, <laughs> spoiler alert, we're going to see some nods to that. I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Give me all the sixes and sevens for this incredible cast. I'm going to go get them out of the green room. You are here for a great match, Comedy Sports Minor League. loyal fans. If you're here for the first time, you picked the right night. We have got quite a matchup for you. Your hometown team, the Double Blue Double Blue E's, are going to be challenged by the Red Soul Manias tonight. Give it up for the Red Soul Manias. <laughs> Starting off, I think this is not the, the right video. But hey, he did a really great video earlier. I'm just going to say the names of who is here. 
okay, we're gonna start over again. And that means I get to say W double, double blue, double blue E and Redselmania all over again. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Okay. Hey, in the chat, tell me your favorite summertime snack because I'm gonna ask you for suggestions later and I also just wanna know, like, who likes hot dogs? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Ooh, a dilly bar. Sean, those are good. Air conditioning. I agree, Simon. I turned on my AC today. Um, just a tomato salad. Jim, I have questions. Nothing else? Just tomato? Hmm. Oh, do you love a good hot dog? Chicken tendies? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, loyal fans. The red song. Nope. <laughs> okay. You know what? I love. I. Oh, okay. Okay. I've got some intel from our tech, and I'm just going to. You know what I'm going to do, loyal fans? I'm just going to read this. And you're going to just be so excited when these players come to the screen. Okay, here we go. Let's get hyped up. Where's my, oh, music. Comedy Sports Minor League. Two teams facing off tonight. You've got your blue team, the double blue, double blue E's facing off against the challengers tonight, the Red Soul Manias. Make some noise for your visitors, the Red Soul Manias. Up first, we have Camille Mitchell making her minor league debut tonight. Next up for the Red Soul Manias, Kelly Stike. And your captain of the Red Soul Manias, it's Captain Katie Waldron. And sixes and sevens in the chat for your blue team tonight. Here we go again. I'm going to say it. The double blue, double blue E's. Yes. <laughs> Up first, it's head coach and mama bear guesting in tonight, Yvette Jaskowitz. Up next, Val Agnew. And your captain of the double blue, double blue E's, Elizabeth Olsen. Make some noise, sixes and sevens for your referee tonight. It's ref, Kat Gotsik. Hey, Heather. Hi. Give yourself 50 points. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna win. <laughs> all right, well then take them all away because okay. I do not want to miss out on this competition, but you deserve them. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's also give 50 points to our people back of house, our stage managers during this. It is not easy and we love them. Mm -hmm. We have your back always and we know you have ours. Uh, hey, there's only one thing I need to say before we get this uh, this minor league uh, women's weekend kicked off, and that is about the technical foul. Now, the technical foul is called whenever the human does everything correctly and the technology makes a mistake. If that mm -hmm. should happen, then I will call the technical foul and I will assess the proper amount of point reduction um, per the infraction. All right? Um, so I think that's all we need to do. Let's get those captains on the field. Yes. Captains to the field. Captain oh. Katie. Oh. Captain <laughs> Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I laughed and it went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> so we're doing so great. <laughs> it's a flawless opening. <laughs> Can I just say something to Captain Katie real quick? Yes. <laughs> Captain Katie, I respect you so much. What you did in Provo, Utah in 98 was genius. But I'm here to take your spot, okay? Katie, do you have a response? That's some big talking coming from a little fan. Do you have this championship belt? <laughs> I don't think so. I was told that this is audition for WrestleMania, and I'm here to prove right, myself. Enough. enough, enough. Let's see. Let's let's find a winner this evening. Oh, right? I could watch that all night. 
Honestly, I'm getting, my wheels are spinning. Um, so, uh, Captain EO, Captain Katie, it is time for one of you to challenge the other in an opening head-to-head -head game. Uh, please back up so that we can see what you're wearing, and I will choose the best outfit. <laughs> All right, Jean, no. <laughs> it, there's absolutely no contest. The belt is great, but the fanny pack is better. <laughs> I guess. I guess and just, you may challenge in our opening head-to-head -head round. <laughs> Begin. Yes. I would like to play... I can do better because guess what? I can do better. <laughs> ah, so can I. Oh, well, let's find out. Everyone to the screen. We've got all the players on the screen right now. Let's have a two uh, from the red team and one from the blue team. Uh, you're going to stay on camera. The rest of you take a step away. There we go. Two from the red team. When you, you have the math correct here. Now, these three improvisers, right in the chat right now, they're going to be doing a, a scene about um, a, uh, in, in a specific location that has a bunch of stuff. All right? So, like, a hardware store or Disney World, something like that. Please throw that in the chat, your suggestions, and I'll explain the rest of the game for you. Uh, they'll be improvising a scene in the space that you give us. At any point, another player might jump into the screen and say, I can, I can do better. I can do better. That's right. Exactly. <clears throat> and when they do that, they will say what they can do better than someone who's currently on screen. I can either accept that and let them come on screen, or I can decept and they have to go back off screen. The point is, at the end, when I blow this whistle, well then, whichever team has two players on the screen will win. This is going, oh my goodness, there's so many good things here. Um, <laughs> you're going to be in an Italy. You're going to be in Italy. Okay? <laughs> so, players, you are in Italy. Are you ready? Yes! In! Oh, I knew it! I can make my own pasta! <laughs> Clarissa, you're so smart and talented. I knew you could do it. And to compliment your pasta, I have a giant jug of olive oil from Sicily. Oh my gosh, the 40 pounder. It's the 40 pounder. Y'all, I've been making this cheese for the last three days and it is just the better. right cons Katie, what can you do? I, I can make cheese better than Val can. <laughs> uh, let's find out. All right, begin. I've been just making this cheese all around the block, and I gotta tell you, my arm's getting real tired. Melanie, if you tell me that that's my favorite kind of smoked gouda that you are making, I will be in debt to you forever. Here, why don't you try it? Oh, shit. I can do better. Yvette, what can you do better? I can enjoy, I can enjoy that smoked gouda way more than <laughs> I, I Let's find out, begin. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. I didn't think it could be used as a facial. I can do better. Yes, EO. I can be more disgusted by what I've just seen than Camille. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure, but let's find out. Begin. <laughs> come on. Come on. Don't you? Look, I'm going to smear it on your cheek. I can do better. Let's try it. Yes, Val. I can do better camera transfer than than uh, Katie can. Huh, I wonder. Let's find out. Begin. Take all the cheese! Put it in your mouth! No, I'm so sorry. That's it's really not okay. Katie, get back out here. There's no, no consent there. Begin. Just gonna paint it right on your pretty little rosy cheeks. I can do better. Yes, Kelly. I can mouth silently better than EO. Uh, okay. Let's find out. And you have 45 seconds. Oh my gosh, this is a good color for you. I can do better. Yes, come on. I can still get uh, the cheese grains off of me better than a vet. Cheese is not made of greens. Step away. Continue, <laughs> <to play. laughs> 
Okay, now make sure you save some for the rest of us. Don't put it all on our faces, okay? Oh, okay, that's a good point. I'll do that. I'll make sure. Well, I just want to make sure that you're getting some for I, yourself. No. I can do. I can be more reasonable than Katie. Okay, let's find out. You are so right. I am going to save this cheese so that we can enjoy our meal later. I can do better. Yes. Okay. I can eat the cheese off of myself better than Yvette. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's doing really good. All right. Oh. <laughs> I can do better. Yes, Camille. I can mix and host this cheese come together better than Val. Uh, okay. All right. You have 30, you have 20 seconds. Sorry. 20 seconds. Begin. I am just so happy that we have all gathered here. I mean, I have been working on this cheese I for do better. four hours. I both of you, event first. I can show off that I have straight teeth better than Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see those teeth. Uh, Eo. Uh, I can point to the heavens better than Katie. I feel like you made that up after you were going to do Kelly as well. Get out. <laughs> Begin. Oh Did the cheese oh, do that to wow. your teeth? <laughs> yeah, you know, when you eat enough smoked Gouda, it just turns into Nine. charcoal cheese. Hey, you, need more. you need a little more. All right, I saw Kelly first. Kelly. I can make up lies about cheese better than Yvette. Oh, uh, you <laughs> only have seven seconds, so you better do it fast. <laughs> Val, yes? I can serve up whatever Camille's serving up better than, than Camille is. Not if you don't know what it is. Step away. Helps <laughs> Gouda killed my father. Six. <gasps> I can do better. Yo. I can slowly turn into cheese better than Katie. Yes, <laughs> begin. Four. I'm so sorry. I can do better. Ah! Val. Mm -hmm. I could be more appalled than Camille is right now at this transformation. It does not look very appalled. Take over. Take over. Two. I can do better. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wow. That was a come from behind. I didn't think they had it with five seconds left to go, right? Wow, indeed. So what that is, is Story. Five points to the double blue, double blue E's. It's going to only get better throughout the night. <laughs> I haven't attempted it yet, and I never will. <laughs> uh, so they've got the early lead here. Who knows Who knows what's going to happen? All right. Well, uh, the double blue, double, uh, the blue team. <laughs> hey, Captain, join me on the screen. Did we just lose our captain? OMG. Oh. All right, hey. then uh, one of the Val or Yvette, step up to the plate. Who's going to captain? I think we might need to reset some things for a technical pause if I had to guess. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because we got to probably, you know. We are going to do, okay. Magic. Well, we are going to do an old school timeout, mm -hmm. depending on whether Elizabeth shows up here. And, all right. And that is, we are oh. all right here in your own homes <laughs> you no i am totally i'm vamping we are going to <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <yes! laughs> <Did you> go <laughs> that was wild and unexpected <laughs> this match is flawless <laughs> Genuinely. I, no, let me tell you what happened is someone gave me attitude outside the window, so I had to throw my laptop at them and then I had to go buy a new one. So, but I'm back. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, your team is going to play a game now. What is it going to be? We're going to play the game of tag out. Flawless! Flawless! All right, so let's get the double blue. Etc. on the field. <laughs> and this game, they, uh, uh, Val, uh, not, I'm so sorry, Val is going to be a tag team partner to Yvette and EO. So they are going to, um, 
do a scene, but at any point they might need someone to tag in and do something that is outside of their skill set or beyond their own imagination. Whatever they need, Val can do it though. She's a great tag team partner. In the chat right now, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take one of these un other amazing things, uh, suggestions from earlier. All right. We are at a ball pit factory. Oh. We are at a ball pit. You're making balls for the ball pit. All right. That's so specific. I love it. Balls. <laughs> balls. All right. So here we go. You are in the ball pit factory for this game of tag team. Begin. I lost count of the red ones. Ah, 36! I'll get the other two! Okay. Good. Nice round even number, and then we can move on to yellow. 38 here. Thank you. Listen, Stan, I, ga I gotta say, I've been at this place for 40 years. I'm about to retire, and I would not want to be making balls for ball pits than anybody else. Randy, Randy, the ball pit magic is special because of our bond, okay? I could never do this with someone else. What kind of balls would the children play in if we didn't have this? I'm gonna prove my love to you and I'm gonna jump into this pit. Tag! <laughs> oh my God, Randy. It was beautiful. Tag! It was beautiful. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna prove my love to you by running circles around the exterior of the ball pit. Tag! <laughs> My favorite color is blue, and I feel like that tells you a lot about me as a person. Your aura is blue. Yeah. I'm going to show you my aura. Tag! <laughs> oh my god. It's blue, but, but not a normal blue. It's like a Disney blue. Show me your aura. Okay. Are you ready? I have to prepare. Tag! Oh my god! It's orange! I did it! It's orange! Randy, no one else has ever seen my aura before. Not even any of my wives. Wait, multiple? <laughs> Hold on. We've been working together this many years and you have multiple? What? I gotta go and get something to drink. Start double. Yeah, actually, one of my one of my wives was stopping by. So while you're drinking, why don't you meet my wife? Tag. <sighs> nice to meet you. Great. Cool. I didn't know you existed. Okay. <laughs> Tag. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a wonderful game. Keep that in your heads for uh, we are going to vote after uh, the Red Soul Manias choose their team game. Uh, Captain Katie, join me on the field. Is that Katie's music? It's my theme song. Yeah, man. Awesome. <laughs> well, you have to choose a game now that you think is going to beat the other team in a uh, audience poll. What's it going to be? Yeah, my team is so good at just dropping things. At, like, they're just so good at changing styles and just picking up things at the drop of a hat. So we're going to do genre replay okay. because we can. Yes, you can. I, I permit it. Uh, but uh, what we need in the chat, loyal fans, is we need some genres for them to replay a scene in. Uh, genres are things like movie genres. It could also be specific directors. Could be book uh, literature genres, or it could be specific authors. It could be, you know what? Let's get um, let's get some like uh, high school clicks in there. 
Let's get mm -hmm. some strongly felt emotions. Is there anything specifically that you would also like, Captain Katie? Um, maybe like a sport, sport yeah, movie, sport, sport, or like favorite sport. Favorite sports, favorite sports. Um, all right, Heather, you want to choose our first one? Ooh, yeah, okay. Um, because I've seen it from three different people, four different people, okay. maybe more, Wes Anderson. <laughs> Wonderful, excellent choice. <laughs> <laughs> cannot um, ignore it when everyone is asking <laughs> when everyone wants i have a i also have a time period of uh elizabethan england Ooh. elizabethan england and finally uh oh my goodness a favorite sport will take snowboarding all right so uh recap those genres for me captain katie in the, so the order that you would like to play them oh yes so let's do Wes Anderson first. Yep. We'll do sports. Yep. And then Elizabethan. Wonderful. And I'm going to choose a suggestion to inspire your scene in the same, out of this same pool. And it's going to be greed. Greed. Greed is the inspiration for your scene. For this game, genre replay, you're going to play a scene and then you're going to replay it, Wes Anderson sports. And Elizabethan English. All right. Uh, so let's see this neutral scene first, inspired by greed. Begin. Uh, you... Everyone, gather around my pot of gold. <laughs> I brought the gold that I own as well. Oh, thank you, Sylvester. I spent my pitiful gold on one Dolce Gabbana purse. <gasps> Katja. Dolch. Yes? Katja brought the dolch. And I request that you please put it in the bowl. It's the least you can do for your friends. If you were truly my friend, you'd let me have one pitiful possession upon this earth. <gasps> in Katja. the meeting, in the meeting last week, we let you have that dime bag that you wanted so dearly. What dime bag? This ugly thing? <gasps> yes! Yes! The Not bag! One. I'll the... burn it for all I care. <gasps> Don't burn it! Don't burn it! We can sell it and buy an even bigger meeting place! All right, that's our scene. We are now going to see the exact same scene played as if Wes Anderson had directed it. Begin. A bowl. Not quite I... round. But some I, I too. made of copper. It was lovely, and we all gathered around it, slowly. I too brought a bowl of gold. <laughs> Would you like to see my purse that has many different kinds of whimsical animals? Inside is a panorama. <laughs> wow, incredible. You can't have this panorama. This is my panorama. It's an antique. But I've we, wanted it for years. We were... We let you have the bag last week. Why can't you share with us? Have this one before I, sent it on, before I set it on fire in a quirky fashion. <gasps> Do not set it on fire. We need the money to buy an even bigger eight-story mansion in Park Avenue. Oh. That's time! We're now going to see it sports style. Sports style. Begin. Hey, 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 what's going on, my dudes? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to land in the uh, wave of snow, but I just wanted to gather you all around. It's been a minute. Bro, it's totally fine. I was spinning myself just round and round. No probs. Oh, spin it. Nice. I fell down a slope. This is my favorite arm sling. Oh, Chet, oh. that's awful. It Whoa. is. It's hey. even worse than the stupid arm sling I outgrew last year. Mom that and Dad signed it. Oh, it's so oh, rad. Shoot. Hey, you're so rad that you got hurt for this sport. Like, you're so cool. Can we, like, sign it or something? Maybe then you can, like... Sell it to pay your hospital bills or something. I don't know. What do you yeah. think? 
I was gonna make you tackle me for it, but your reason is sound. <laughs> All right, that is our second replay. Our third replay is, is set in Elizabethan England. Begin. <laughs> Caca! Caca! Where doth the birdie sing? It sings on this hallowed ground where we three ladies have a spring to fling. Oh, I do love a bird melody. <laughs> I too brought a bird with me, see? <laughs> I've been hiding my, my bird behind my fan, because you can't have him. <gasps> oh, but we have been the most bosomest of friends all these years. How could you? Speaking of bosoms, you may have a for a set. I've outgrown it. Or, but, or should I burn it instead? No, <laughs> not a flame! No! We'll squeeze into the corset together! Quick! Quick! That's time! Heather, 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 how are people gonna choose? Oh, I just made a poll. <laughs> All right, well, now it's time to vote. Check the top of your chat screen and you will see Heather's poll right there. Yeah. Uh, now, you said before that they could vote more than once. How does that Yeah, work? there are channel points. So after you vote the first time, um, when I'm not going to because I, I'm, I'm, I love everyone, um, but you can vote again by clicking the little channel points icon. You can vote hundreds or thousands of times depending on how many channel points you have I hundreds have, of thousands of i have 40.5 thousand channel points oh really yeah. i thought i had a lot and i have like 700. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um i want to point something out real fast is bragging about how excited i am for women's weekend i'm wearing my comedy sports indianapolis sweatshirt that i got at women's weekend 2019 in indy indianapolis started women's weekend uh what is this the fifth or sixth annual something, um, like that. something like that so shout out to indy we have shout out like indy. four maybe five indianapolis players joining us this weekend so that's wonderful yeah. and shout out to the red Soulmanias who won one sixty-two with sixty-two percent of poll votes. Uh, what does that bring our score to, Heather? Oh, it's a tied match. It's five to five. Elizabeth. Oh my yeah. gosh. You're not losing. It's just tied. All right, you're you're muted, but I'm sure you're trash talking really well. Let's get those captains. Let's get those captains on the field. <laughs> uh, I know that's your music. I won't ask again. Uh, so <clears throat> you uh, you just won, Captain Katie. I will allow you to challenge in the next head-to-head -head round. What do you Thank want to you. play? I do appreciate it. Uh, see, we're full on flexing on the Wrestlemanias, so I'd like to challenge. Don't shake your head at me. I'd I'll like shake to my challenge. Head at you if I want to. I'll do whatever. <gasps> oh, I'd like to challenge EO to flex, flex USA. Uh. Flex, Jokes flex. on you, because flexing is my absolute best strength. <laughs> Dang, backfire. Uh, well, in this next game, all of the players are going to be on the screen again. Now, welcome them back, and they will be flexing until I blow this whistle and the music stops. At that point, they have to freeze right where they are. And I will choose one or more of them to do a scene, and they must begin in the position that they are frozen in. Now, our amazing stage manager, Ryan Ford, is going to be playing music. Uh, are you ready? Yes. All right, begin. <laughs> Okay, uh, Val and Camille, begin. Come on, come in, come in, come in. Okay, I'm about to drop it. Here we go. Come in. Whoa. That was I didn't huge. Know Sorry, sorry, oh, I, I can't hear you from all the way up here. <laughs> I was just going to 
remark, that was the biggest coconut I've ever seen. That's what I was waiting for. More flexing. <laughs> All right, Captain Challenge, Elizabeth and Katie. Look what I can do with the baby. <laughs> oh man, I got two toddlers over here. <laughs> you think we could juggle them? You yeah, want just to just stop, don't here. juggle the baby, it's flex, flex, flex. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be Kelly and Yvette. If you would just hug me, I wouldn't have to do it myself, Mom. <laughs> okay, well, I don't wanna look at you because I know that you got yourself looking all nice before we went out in public together, okay? So just, just hug me, please, just. Come on. Don't hurt me at the wall. Come on, hug him. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right, Yvette, uh, Katie, and Elizabeth. Girl, your feet look good. Oh, okay, cool, because there was a mole that I thought was suspicious. <laughs> Flex! <laughs> All right, uh, this is gonna be Val and uh, Kelly. Oh, your powers have grown stronger than mine. I am close in the force. <laughs> but please, don't you have mercy for your humble teacher? No, you made me All do right. detention. <laughs> Flex! Freeze, just Camille. I want to give you a hug. <laughs> like <laughs> this. <laughs> Heather. Yeah. I'm getting there. I was going to say, this is going to be a really tough choice. I do not uh, envy the people who have to vote on that. It was a really fun flip mm -hmm. off. Uh, it's up there. Who had the strongest flex? Five points are on the line. It is a time match, loyal fans, so good luck. Um, I want to chat about some other things that are going on at Comedy Sports. So, of course, Women's Weekend, it's all weekend long come back but you can see our schedule if you type exclamation point schedule in the chat it'll tell you all the things you need to know it's right down there below um we have some new shows premiering in april <gasps> uh, so check out that schedule for all of the new and special things happening there's the schedule and then speaking of carrie okay we just crowned our first champion our kelly Who clarkson eric reyes from our rec league spoiler alert if you didn't tune in on monday sorry you missed out um so but we're gonna do season two this summer so you can audition exclamation point audition to submit to be a part of that please sign up this poll is close <gasps> This poll is really, really... Oh, at the last second with 51% of the vote. The Dang. Red Soul Manias take the lead with 10 points. 10 big points. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Captain oh. of Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm worried about Elizabeth's furniture. I, think I really need you to just calm down and be philosophical. All right, friend? Okay, great. So let's uh, get the captain of the red team on the field, on the screen with us. Oh, all right. Dun, 
Uh, we need someone to write that music. Jason Tolliver, will you please write Katie's music? <laughs> um, and you, my friend, it's time to choose a game, a second team choice round. What would you like to play? Yeah, one of our wrestlers is getting a new sidekick. So we'd like to play Guess That Sidekick. Okay, who is it that's getting a new sidekick that needs to leave this screen? Kelly. All right, Kelly, hands up. Say goodbye. So long. Bye, Kelly. Bye. So now in the chat, you will be helping us choose a new sidekick for Kelly. I need you to put adjectives and animals. That's the first thing. Heather, I'm going to um, let you choose the adjectives and the animals that will start our sidekick off. Oh, my goodness. Now, Ooh. after you have put in some adjectives and some animals, <clears throat> I just want you to put like a, a couple word phrase, just a couple word phrase, <laughs> anything, anything you, you want. I'm going to take it. I'm going to make it something hilarious. <clears throat> and after you have, uh, oh, well, actually, Heather, do we have any yeah, adjective. the adjective and animal. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm I'm going with a spicy raccoon. Okay, <laughs> obviously. <All right. laughs> Is there any other kind? No. All right. <laughs> no. So I would also like you to put some uh, some Fortune 500 company names. Fortune <laughs> 500 company names in the chat. And now I am going to choose a uh, <laughs> a phrase. Uh, cats don't dance. Now, cats don't dance is the name of this sidekick's signature move. The cats don't dance is the finisher. Mm -hmm. And finally, Heather, would you like to choose a Fortune 500 company for us? <laughs> I just want to shout out Sean Jasko. Amazon? Question mark. Don't <laughs> no. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go with uh oh. I don't know some of these. Uh, Dell. All right. Dell Computers is this sidekick's corporate sponsor. Mm -hmm. This sidekick's corporate sponsor. So this sidekick goes by the name of Spicy Raccoon. Their signature move is called Cats Don't Dance, and they are sponsored by Dell Computers. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when um, Kelly comes back in the room, uh, she's going to have to guess what all of these things are, and her partner, her teammates, will be giving her clues. This is a five-minute game, Ryan. Please put five minutes on the clock, and if Kelly gets this within five minutes, I'll give this team a bonus point. All right, Red Soul Manias, if mm -hmm. it's inside of five minutes, you will get a bonus point. Welcome back, Kelly. How you doing? Oh, doing great. Feeling lucky? Always. Well, you're going to need some luck, I have a feeling. <laughs> it's going to be a fun round. You only have five minutes. Five minutes to guess the sidekick. Are you ready? Yes. Begin. It's going to be awesome, baby. You're going to get a brand new sidekick. Are you so excited? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm ready for some new blood. Yeah, you, you we just we would just really think you're gonna up your game. We think that we gotta just turn on the pepper heat. You know what I'm saying? We gotta turn up that heat. Turn up the heat, turn up the heat. Yeah, we're gonna like soar high and like we're gonna fly hot air balloon style. Yeah. 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 Okay. Also though, okay. also, it's gonna be like Cajun, baby. It's gonna be that kind of thing that we're dealing with. Mm, oh, yeah. we're gonna be Spicy, we're gonna get yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'm but listen, telling you, I'm telling you. Listen, baby, we're gonna go dumpster diving with this one. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm we're gonna yeah. dive into that, <laughs> dive into that dumpster. Maybe with a blindfold, maybe without. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? If there's one kind of spicy thing I like, it's raccoons. Oh, oh that's right, baby. baby. Yes, Four minutes. Baby. Four minutes. Okay. Oh, I love the way you're moving that body. I love the way you're moving. Uh huh. Okay. But, but that sidekick's gonna. It's gonna move even better. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah? I can't wait to meet my salsa dancing sidekick. Oh. You like to dance? Oh. I love to dance. Listen oh. to me, meow. Listen to me, meow, okay? It's very important you listen to me because it's going to be awesome, baby. You're going to love this person and their new move. Oh, yeah. I love the cat scratching. It gets infected. Mm. Her mm, mm. But you know, you know what about cats? Oh, I, I can tell you what about cats. Cats, they run Three around. Three minutes. Huh? Three minutes. They use the litter box, but they don't go to salsa class, right? No, they dig in their litter box. They dig on in there. Yeah. Those are things that they do do. Uh-huh. Those are things that they do do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell I you what they do. I find it so ferocious when my partner uses the litter box on the stage. Mm. Mm. Me yeah. too, baby, but this one's not going to do that move this time. It's not going to be the litter box. No, it's a family show. What else? Right. Yeah. <laughs> remember those sweet moves you were doing earlier? You know, you remember you get your body into it. That's what they do. Oh, yeah. They like to stretch out in a sunbeam or maybe just uh, go with the flow. Yeah, you could call that interpretive, right? Some sort of interpretive dance. But have you ever seen a cat do that? Have you ever seen it? I have not. Two minutes. Mm. That's right, that? you haven't. You have not seen them do it. What I have seen cats do are like be limber and roll mm -hmm. and wave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Yes. They, they stretch the backs. Mm-hmm. That they do. That they do. They love to stretch that, the backs. Uh-huh. They do. They do, they do stretch their backs. Uh-huh. But you know but, what? I feel like I'm skirting around it. What's the opposite of do? They don't. Mm. Yeah. Right? They, they don't strap. Mm, close. They don't. <laughs> Ooh, you made doing it dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Mm. Now, who's Wait. paying me? Oh, oh, whoa. whoa. It's, it's not, it's not the whole fruit tree. That's what I'm saying. One no. minute. It's just the fruit of the loom? No, no. I it's wish. It's definitely, hmm? No, I wish. I wish it was. But if we had to zoom in on that fruit of the loom and see a, a red fruit with a little stem. Oh, yeah. Mm, close. close. You know what? It's in the same realm. A lot of people don't use it as 30 awesome seconds. Example. Yeah. But it's still it's like relevant, the baby. It's cherry, you know? It's all cherry. It's all good. Like a retired apple. Like a retired yeah. apple, you know? Yeah. Same amount <laughs> of RAM. It's in the right. 90s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Grandpa right. 10 Mackin. seconds. Mm, close. Oh. Mm. Five. Sorry, four, I can't see you. You're a little three, dull. Two. Little dull. Wow. Can one, you hear me? Time. <laughs> I am so sorry, Kelly. You, your sidekick is a spicy raccoon. Their signature move is called Cats Don't Dance. Uh, and you're being paid by a farmer in the... Farmer in the Dell. Dell Computers! Yeah, computer in the Dell Computers. <laughs> And there, that was yeah. fun. Let's get Captain Elizabeth up on the screen. EO, you just saw a game and now you have to choose one of your own. What would you like to play in the second team choice round? Okay, first of all, I would like to apologize for my outbreak uh, earlier. I am now calmer. I am <laughs> thinking things through philosophically and uh, I'm ready to be so, so focused. Okay, all right, choose a game. Let's see this focus in action. 
in order to show you our focus of yeah. how focused we are and yeah. making it to the big time wrestling, we mm -hmm. are going to do panel of wrestlers. Panel of wrestlers. And uh, I, that means we're going to have a face, a heel and a manager. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, who's going to be our face? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> You. You're the heel. <laughs> and it was a test and you, you passed. <laughs> All right. So what I need in the chat is I need for you to put questions in there. And Heather, if you would grab a, the first question when you see it pop up. These are advice oh, yeah. type questions like uh, uh, things to do with romance or or your career or or time management or or family anything you need help with um these this panel of wrestlers definitely can help you um let's have them introduce themselves face um, rough cat real quick sure would you mind getting suggestions for us what <laughs> yes let's do this um give me uh any give, give me any noun I also want to get any noun. Heather, you pick the question, the first question. I'm going to pick a noun. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got some questions. That's awesome. All right. Your, and it's just, you just want one, right? It's one for each of us. One for each of you? Okay. Val, yours is calculator. Eo, yours is horse. And Yvette, yours is flamingo. Flamingo. All right. So let's meet our face first. Face, introduce yourself. I'm the accountant, and I will make sure that you get your refund. <laughs> All right. Heel, introduce yourself. Hello. <laughs> they call me. The tombstone, cause I'm a ride into your town, and I'm a put you in a tombstone. <laughs> Inside a tombstone, a manager, please introduce yourself. Loyal fans, my name is Paul Heyman, and I'm the advocate for the world champion wrestler, the Flamingo, and I am here to tell you. He is the undisputed champion of the world. Wonderful. Thank you. Heather, what's our first question? Oh, there's some great questions. But first, because I really like cats and wish I could have one, um, what should I do to prepare to get a cat? Uh, face. Yes. Uh, well, I've done some, some calculations, uh, and I, I'm trying to show you my calculator. There it is. Uh, and I've done some calculations, and uh, I, I would like to tell you that you will be able to uh, get a cat in approximately uh, three years at your current income level. Thank you. Tombstone. You're going to ride into the desert with nothing but the voice in your head and your enemies at your back. And if you survive one week of eating sagebrush and wrestling with your demons, you're going to know it's time for you to get a cat. Okay. Paul Heyman. All right, loyal fam. My name is Paul Heyman, and I am here to tell you that my advocate, the Flamingo, says you should get a cat. Because you being a cat owner will make you perfect. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Uh, all right. So each of you now need to recommend an effective self-help book. An effective self-help book. Tombstone, let's start with you. What you're going to do is you're going to glide out to sea with nothing but the skin on your bones and the salt in your mouth. And you're gonna wrestle with Poseidon and God. 
And then you're gonna go home, you're gonna think of Tombstone, and you're gonna write your own self-help book. There, <laughs> Paul Hainan. Loyal fans, my name is Paul Hayden, and I'm representing the Flamingo, and he would say the world champion to find that book yourself. <laughs> All right, same joke, same joke, accountant. Well, if I'm being honest, I don't read much. I prefer numbers, but if I could recommend something on paper, it would be a balance sheet. <laughs> Fair enough. Heather, do you have another question or you want me to pick one? Oh, I sure do. What's the best way to go about landscaping my beautiful garden? Yard, yard, beautiful yard. Beautiful yard. Very different, very different. Yes, uh, Paul Heyman. Loyal fans, my name is Paul Heyman and my client, the Flamingo, is here to tell you to lay out your legs, get that sun in, get some grass and that sass up in your... Nope. Uh, what? The accountant. I don't get out much. Okay, all right. I get it. Fair. What is it? <laughs> Tombstone. You're gonna come to my house with nothing but a Swiffer in one hand and some dust cloths in the other. That's you're going to have sit for me. And when you keep my basil plant alive, you're going to know you can keep a garden. <laughs> That's time. <laughs> Heather, my face hurts. Um, yeah, this is great. I, I sure love, am glad I, love I don't all know. these love all these women. This is wonderful. This is really wonderful. <laughs> and There's a you know, poll. <laughs> loyal fans, you have to choose between the game of Panel of Wrestlers, which you just saw, and before that it was Guess the Sidekick. Guess the Sidekick. So Vote now. You can use your channel points if you want. You can vote a single time if you don't have any channel points. You can get more channel points by watching more comedy sports. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying it's a very easy, it's an easy solution to a to a good problem, right? This is very, oh, very true. Another Oh, this is one. very close. I'm going to let it ride out. What else do yeah. I need to talk about? What else is going on? What else is new? I no, mean, look, let me give you some stats. Wrestling stats are cool. There are... 45 women from 19 different comedy sports cities playing this weekend. What? Oh my gosh, the poll is about to end. It's about to end. Oh, with 61%. Oh, oh, oh. The double blue, double blue E's. What does that bring our score to, Heather? Oh, we are tied up again. It is 10 to 10. If this match was a barn, it would be a blaze. Mm -hmm. This is a barn burner. We now have to choose a final game because we must have, oh, there's no ties in wrestling. We got to mm -hmm. have a winner. So captains to the screen, join me on the screen and Heather and let's, all right, Katie. <laughs> champion belt oh did you hear that was added to the song all right and uh eo must have uh she must have knocked herself on the head with a chair Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, fake it out <laughs> got to your head now <laughs> and you did give katie time to do her entire theme song so everybody wins. <laughs> so uh, w w the blue team just won that last round. So Captain Elizabeth, EO, I will allow you to choose our final chance game. What would you like to play that you think might win you this whole match? 
You know what? We're crushing, crushing this wrestling thing so hard. <laughs> Are you? We might even branch into action movies. Who knows? It's Stranger Things have happened. At my yeah. Life. So let's go ahead and let's play Flesh Action Hero. Uh, Captain Katie, do you accept? I accept that's our best game. That's how we got this championship belt. Whoa, another backfire. Let's get all these players <laughs> to the screen. The last the game of last action hero is is based on uh Arnold Schwarzenegger's least loved film called The Last Action Hero. I didn't know that was an actual movie. <laughs> it's an actual movie. It was it, it's famous because it was super over budget and was a huge flop. <laughs> And if you ever go watch it, you will understand why it's a terrible, terrible movie. <laughs> and everybody needs to see it once. All right. So in any Schwarzenegger movie, you can count on him to make a pun after he after he does someone in with something weird. So if he killed someone with a pencil, it might go like this. You get my point. <laughs> that's how that works <laughs> so in the chat right now please put uh any any suggestion you want let's get nouns we can get proper nouns we can get uh uh adjectives are not gonna work um if you put a verb in there i'm gonna turn it into a gerund by adding an ing to it <laughs> um you know what try to try to fool me try to fool me and heather i dare you <laughs> We're going to turn it into a suggestion. <laughs> Heather, do you want to get our first one? Oh, yeah. The first one is, oh, these are great. Let's go with pickle. Pickle. All right. Now, I will call you out burn box style. That means that I will call your name and you must give us your last action joke right then and there. And at the end of this round, after I blow my whistle, there will be one final poll and a winner will be crowned. <laughs> And Katie, you might have to give up that belt. All right. It's pickles. Katie, how about you? <laughs> Your belt's on the line. That was the biggest deal I've ever dealt with. Val. <laughs> that was my bread and butter. <laughs> Camille. Mm, something smells sour. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to take, we're going to change the suggestion up. It's exotic plants. Exotic plants. Captain Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I, it looks like I got you. Or kidding? <laughs> Yvette. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope it didn't firm the bird. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Looks like I am the medical to metal winner. <laughs> Val. Don't cactus like you didn't see that coming. <laughs> suggestion for us Heather oh my goodness I I better find one. Oh yeah ooh grilled cheese grilled cheese friends Captain Katie you have been melted <laughs> Long walk for, for a small sunset. <laughs> Do you feel a craft in here? <laughs> you want to know something? I, bl 
I blame Heather. I blame Heather. <laughs> Why? <laughs> give you another suggestion. No. It's, it's charcuterie. Charcuterie. All right. Yeah. All right, Kelly. <laughs> it's all hey, it's you are a big ham. <laughs> the event. Shame you didn't have to die because it was so nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I am bored. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. like the dad shark, you won't like the son. It's a little huge sharkery. <laughs> Heather, I just need to confirm. Was the punchline on that last one cute sharkery? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Indeed, it was. My new favorite phrase. <laughs> I thought I heard it, and then I thought I didn't, and I'm glad I did. It's now time for everyone to vote. <laughs> Yeah, there's a poll. I just want to point out, you know, whenever I see someone doing something like a little shark, a little shark doing something cute, I'm going to be like, that's some cute sharkery. That's some cute sharkery right there. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Use the channel points. Use those channel points. It is Use those like a points. roller coaster up and down right here. Might be a good time to mention that the uh, we're added. We've added a jam. Mm -hmm. uh, Cat is in charge of the jam on Saturday it is night. Also, like it, this is crazy. I'm getting all sorts of ideas because it's wrestling theme. Oh, the poll has ended oh, with 53 percent. The double blue, double blue E's take it. Final score: 15 to 10. Oh. Everyone, be grateful that Elizabeth. Olsen's apartment will not be destroyed tonight, but give it up for both of your teams this evening in this amazing all-women's minor league match. Give it up for the Red Soulmanias. We had Camille Mitchell, Kelly Stipe, and the captain of the Red Soulmanias, Katie Waldron. And one more time, sixes and sevens for your champions tonight, taking over that championship belt, the double blue, double blue E's. It is head coach and mama bear, Yvette Jaskowitz, Val Agnew, and your captain, thankfully with no broken tables, it's some cute sharkery, EO Elizabeth Olsen. One more time for your referee tonight, Kat Godsick. On behalf of myself and your stage manager tonight, the wonderful Rai Rai Ryan Ford, I've been Heather Scholl. Tune in for all of the wonderful all-women matches all weekend long. We love you, loyal fans. Good night.